In this section, I want to talk about what causes major depressive disorder. There's no simple answer because several things play a part in bringing on the disorder. These include a genetic or family history of depression, other biological factors, life stressors, and certain personality styles. Research shows that the risk for depression comes from a combination of these factors. Let's talk about biological factors first. Many people who develop depression have a biological risk for the disorder. Biological risk comes from both genetics and physical problems. Let's start with genetics. A family history of depression does not necessarily mean children or other relatives will develop the disorder, but studies show that depression does run in families. Also, those who have genes who put them at risk for depression are more likely to experience repeated episodes of depression as opposed to just one episode. Now let's talk about physical problems that can also increase risk. One factor is an imbalance in brain chemicals such as serotonin and norepinephrine. Physical illness such as infection, heart attack, cancer, or hormonal disorders may also play a role in depression. Sometimes when people are feeling depressed, they might self-medicate with drugs or alcohol. This might help their mood in the short term, but excessive use can increase their biological risk and trigger a depressive episode. If you're struggling with alcohol or drug use, it might be a good idea to get some help from a mental health professional. You might find that your symptoms of depression improve as a result of decreasing your use. If you're the family member of someone with depression and you're concerned about their alcohol or drug use, try to talk to them about your concerns. This conversation can be challenging because it's a sensitive topic and your relative may be defensive about it. When you talk to them, try to find a non-stressful time and be sure they are sober. If needed, seek the help of a mental health professional. As I said before, research shows that the risk for depression comes from a combination of biological factors acting together with life stressors. We talked about biological factors, so now let's move on to life stressors. Life stressors can be negative events like a traumatic childhood, the death of a loved one, ending of a relationship, loss of a job, serious financial problems, or significant family conflict. Positive events that are stressful can also be risk factors for depression. For example, marriage, having a baby, graduation, a promotion at work, or retirement are all positive events, but could still be stressful. Although it may not seem stressful, a lack of activity or structure is a risk factor for depression. Lastly, certain personality styles may contribute to depression. People are at a greater risk of becoming depressed if they have low self-esteem, tend to worry a lot, are overly dependent on others, are perfectionists, or expect too much from themselves and others. Now let's put this information together and go over an example that combines biological factors and stress. One gene that is related to depression is the serotonin transporter gene. Some studies have found that people with a short version of this gene are more sensitive to life stressors and are at higher risk for developing depression than those with a long version of the gene. Each person has two copies of this gene, one from each parent. So take a look at this graph. These are the findings of a study by Caspi and colleagues. The red bars represent people who have two copies of the long version of the gene. You can see that their risk for depression does not change even as they have more stressors. Now look at the yellow bars. These are people who have two copies of the short version of the gene. Their rate of depression increases significantly as they experience more stress. To the far right of the graph are people who have had four or more life stressors over a five-year period. 17% of those with the long version of the gene became depressed. In contrast, 43% of those with the short version became depressed. This study is a really great example of how genes and life stressors can interact to cause depression. That wraps up our discussion of the causes of major depression. We touched on the main risk factors for the disorder, including biological factors, stressful life events, and personality styles. Join me next time for a discussion of evidence-based treatments for the disorder. Mm -hmm.